Hi there everyone, it's Connie Ray from stampityourself.com. Welcome to another craft tutorial. Today I'm making some little 3x3 note cards. Um, I was going to say they're for Valentine's Day, but they can be for any occasion. Um, and I'm using some watercolouring techniques. So I wanted to share that with you um, on how to go about doing it and how easy it is and how pretty it can come up. And it's always good to have some little 3x3 cards on hand. So I've done a variation of them all. And I just thought I'd share with you and show you how I actually achieved it. First of all, I've used the Love Hearts embossing folders folder from Stamping Up. Um, and I have just run through some uh, Whisper White cardstock into that. Well, on that, through the big shot, whatever you want to call it. And I've ended up with some little uh, note cards that I've cut after I've embossed them. Uh, can you see the embossing? Yeah, there you go. So I've embossed them and I've cut them. And ultimately what I want to do after I watercolour them is I want to run my square stitch to framelit over the top of the coloured um, cardstock once it's dry and that will give me my stitching around the edge and of course that just cuts it out and makes it look beautiful. So I wanted to show you how I did it and it was really quite easy. So you get your little piece of um, embossed cardstock that you're ready to colour. I've used, I cheated, I popped this on the Misty. I've got a Misty. I mean you don't need a Misty for this occasion but I know with watercoloring some people use boards and they use all sorts of things really you could use um, something like the misty or just the top of the misty or you could use a tile it doesn't really matter it's still really just um, something to keep your cardstock in place while you're coloring it and holding it down so I found the top of the misty perfect for that so I'm going to show you how I colored it now I'm going to be using some uh, Stampin' Up! Rose Red so, and again, this is just handy to do on the Misty. So I'm just going to put a dab of my ink colour just there. So you've got the rose red. Don't need a lot of it. And um, I'm using, this is Distress Ink, and this is Seedless Preserves, and that's a little purple in colour. So I'm going to use a bit of that. And then I'm going to swap it over to my Distress Ink Salty Ocean. So I want a little bit of blue with that and I want them all to combine and make it like a little rose ombre kind of look. So first of all you're going to get a paintbrush with, doesn't matter what kind of a paintbrush, everybody has different preferences and this is just something to show you how to muck around with and have a good play and it shows you how to make a really pretty card really quite easily. So just a glass of water next to you and a paintbrush and just wet your cardstock doesn't have to be completely saturated. If you're using um, Whisper White cardstock you can do that or you can use um, your, um, I've got um, some watercolour paper so you can use that too. So then you just take your colour that you're going to mix and you're just going to run it across like that which is what I've done. So and you just keep doing that to get the colour that you want merging the colors if you wish or just going a bit deeper with the color that you have and you can see here how it's you know I'm putting in the depth that I want and it will you know dry up and give me this gorgeous color that of and it's kind of like an ombre look it's kind of cool now if you think that you've got too much on your cardstock and you don't like the look of it you can use a tissue and just dab it dry just like that now you can't see the colors um i don't think you can see the colors really well here but you can like i've got them you can see them quite clearly um, in terms of contrasting colors i think my purple is a bit darker i think i have a little bit more red in the top there good. So I'm just going to work my way down now to blend in a bit of the blue. You're probably best off using um, watercolour paper if you're going to do this because it's just better in the long run I think especially if you're not um, used to doing it on normal paper. 
So now when you move those two colors up, you get this lovely ombre effect, which is kind of like a purple and a pink and a, all sorts of colors going on. So it looks really pretty. So that's it basically. Now, oh, just stayed my finger in it. So basically now I'm just going to remove it and I'm going to set it aside to dry. Really handy to do it on the misty because you just got it there. It's really good. Okay, so just get rid of that. And of course you can reuse that if you were going to do another card, which I have got, but for me I'd probably be better off just, for, I would just prefer to tape one down. So I'll show you again how I've done that. Just taping it down using um, just a bit of tape and the tape all the tape is really doing is just holding it in place for you and you've got a bit of an edge that you can use to oh, not doing that a very good job let me just get that down um, you've got an edge just on there enough to um, cut out using the die and it won't matter if you don't get that edge done on the, the coloring sorry I'm muttering away here I'm not helping you at all am I <laughs> okay but I really did want to show you how quick and easy it is to do some three by three cards and the water coloring effect and how easy it is and how pretty it is because it is such fun oh I've got a bit of blue in there but that's okay it all adds to the color doesn't it so if you've got watercolor paper by all means go ahead but if you're going to use normal paper you could but just make sure you don't put as much water on I would that would be my recommendation but you know what you got to try it and have fun doing it and give it a go you've got nothing to lose so I'll try and go a bit darker for the sake of the camera because it is a bit washed out when it comes to the lighting and stuff that we use to do this sort of stuff and I'm not a professional <laughs> at all so there's my purple and you just blend it up into the color that you put down previously so it gives it this gorgeous ombre effect so it's really nice so you can hardly see where the colors have merged and a bit of blue again just moving it into the color that you just put down and then separating it down to its own color and it just gives you this gorgeous rainbow effect and it just highlights the little love hearts as well just beautifully I might put a little bit more blue in that one just to say that it's there and there you go so that's that now again it cleans up really easy off the top of the misty super super easy you just get a wipe and you just wipe it up now I'm happy with the color on that I might just dab it to see if it'll dry a bit quicker for the sake of the video so again you're just taking off your tape and as I said, you've got a little bit of an edge that you can afford to lose because you're going to run it through um, the big shot and the die that you've got. Whichever die you choose to use. So this is the one that we've done. It's not quite dry yet, and this one obviously is still drying. I'll get rid of the misty out of the way. And I might just put my um, heat tool on it to give it a bit of a um, drying quicker feel. And you can see like the rainbow effect in in the colors especially once it dries um i don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it there it's kind of you know it's very pretty just turn it over and give it a bit of a whirl we only really need one for this purpose so this one looks really good. I like the ombre effect on this one, so I'll get that one out of the way. Okay, it's not quite dry. Where is it? Mm, almost. Almost. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll quickly run this through the big shot. Now I have to go off camera to do this, but you will hear me clanking away. So I'm going to quickly cut this up. And I'm going to use the square framelits from Stamping Up with the stitch die. And I'm using the largest one on top of it. So you'll hear me do that now.
Okay, sorry guys, I had to go away and do that. All right, so there's the frame that you don't need. And of course, once you've colored it, you end up with this gorgeous color and the gorgeous stitching around it as well. And I love the stitching, as you know. So there you go, really easy. And then we're basically putting onto a card of choice. I'll put it onto the black because the black will make it pop and you'll be able to see it. Um, in the camera here a little bit better I've done some black ones and some white ones and I was thinking initially I was thinking Valentine's Day but you know you can't you know what's nice on Valentine's Day if you're working in an office is you can take some of these and just leave them sitting on someone's desk which is a kind of like a really nice um, gesture no one's gonna know you did it and it's just like Valentine's Day not everybody has a partner or is happy on Valentine's Day. If anything, people probably get a little bit depressed if they're not involved with somebody. So again, three by three card, and I'm just going to bring that down and line that up. I have used, um, as I said, I've used that framelit. I also used uh, You're the Best um, stamp from this stamp set and this is all things thanks and it's in the occasions catalog and it's got all these thank you sentiments and there's heaps so I've used you all the best and I've just embossed it with white and I've cut it out so again I'm going to just pop that up and I'm just going to get a dimensional and cut the dimensional in half and just, oop, there goes one onto the floor, so we'll use the second one. <laughs> you should have, always have to have two of everything, oh, especially me. I'm always dropping things. I'm hopeless. But it's all good. Okay, so there we go. So these are really easy to do, and they're not necessarily Valentine's Day cards, but you can use them as Valentine's Day cards. Let's put it that way. You can do whatever you like with them because it says you're the best. It's got love hearts on it, so it's got that appreciation token. And then you've got, you know, um, the versatility of being able to use them whenever you want for whatever occasion. There you go. And we'll put some little um, sequins because that's just what you do. And sequins look pretty. It doesn't matter where you put them, as long as you put them somewhere you can see, whoop, see them. And whoop, I was going to say I had another one here, but but and I thought I'd lost it, but I haven't. I've got it right here. So again, just using some multimedia mat to stick it down, and I'll just put it. Uh, oh no, I might put it up the top here. And there you have it. A really easy card to do now you can do a big version of this or you can do the three this size that I've done it's entirely up to you and you can heat dry it with the gun as I've shown you so give it a go it's so much fun and you can use you don't have to use I use the distressed ink because I liked the color per se that the way that the colors blend it but you can use um, indigo island you saw me use the um, rose red from stampin up and you can use your own colors whatever colors you like so give it a go it's so much fun and it's really pretty making all these lovely colors and the cameras really don't do them any justice but it's this gorgeous ombre look and you can give this card to anybody or you can just pop it on the present so it's really good. So you've got your embossing folder, you've got your um, watercolour card stock, you've got your paintbrush, it doesn't matter what kind because they're only little or big, it doesn't really matter. Um, you've got your sentiment and you've got your card and you can always write white, with white the white gel pen. These white gel pens always look nice when you write. So there you go. I've done it on white and I've done it on black. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and um, I will see you next time for another one. Thanks for joining me. Ciao for now.